Marion uh, was close in only one match, and that was a 1-0 decision. So West Delaware put together seven falls, one technical fall, one decision, and gained 5 4 from the Indians. So we're going to face a pretty tough team, well-balanced, and uh, I talked to Jeff Voss earlier, their head coach. He's been there for 25 years. He's got a veteran staff members. I think there's seven uh, coaches on his staff. Uh, I see one, at least, was the other head coach before Jeff took over, and he's got four state place winners on his coaching staff that have graduated and come back to help Voss out. So, And he's got a very well-balanced team, uh, in fact, a very young team. So we're going to start off with uh, our ranked wrestler, Abe Mickle, at 170 pounds. And No results on that. Back to the center of the mat. Head and collar tie. Both wrestlers working to get their first initial takedown with a good setup. They break away now, looking for an opening for each other. They're stalking each other out. And fighting is important. No wrestler wants to give the other wrestler an advantage to get his tie up. Uh, F keeps an inside position very well. Abe's a very experienced wrestler on our varsity team. Returning district qualifier. No initial scoring in our first minute of action. Abe just guys a nice shot for a long single. Volker counters it and they're back up to their feet again. Both wrestlers have a head and collar tie. Now they break away. Still more hand fighting. Both of them are very good position wrestlers. Neither one of them is going to give the other, their opponent an opening in for their takedown. Abe just tried to head chuck by. Abe so far has been the aggressor. He's had two pretty good shots in there on his opponent. Volker just tried a slow single, but he missed it. Nickel countered it quite well by a, a foot sprawl. He went for an underhook tie. Volker's first shot on a single. He's got Abe started. Abe countered him quite well. He's got to get to the corner on him to score a point. Hands are on the mat, head and arm. I don't know why the referee has not called yet. Out of bounds with two seconds left. He was in a very good position for a takedown, but couldn't finish it out on this young man. A lot we have of two seconds in this first period. A lot of feeling each other out in this first yep. period. So we got a zero scoreless tie on this first round match. And I did not see how the uh, foot West Delaware's taken down for this first period. Zero, zero at the end of one. <clears throat> Referee's getting him set. Nichols on. Starts to stand up position for the West Delaware. Abe counters it. Nicely back into a low single position. He's going to have to work himself up slowly or he's going to get a stalling warning. Now they're in a single leg position on their feet. He has to retake him to the match. Of course, the referee has not started a count yet. West Delaware got a sprawl on Abe Mickle. Abe goes up into a high double. He's got to change his look. Grip on leg, he steps across quite nicely. He's still got to get his arm free. Still in pretty good position, although they're both wrestlers in a scrambler's position, but Abe, Abe still has the uh, advantage position right now. Good retake down by Abe Knuckle. Volker gets his hips up, looks like he's going to be close to an escape. He's not giving it to him yet. There he has. West Delaware takes an escape. One point. Wrestlers are on their feet with 45 seconds left in the second period now. Back again to a position for, uh, challenge for each wrestler. Now they're back to the center of the mat. Abe does a foot fake on him.
Each wrestler is working to control their opponent's head and wrists. Nico takes a nice single leg shot. Volker counters it with a sprawl. They're both back up on their feet. Abe's got an underhook tie with the wrist. They break free. Looks like it's going to be a 1 0 score at the end of two. Volker got the escape. Abe's going to have to go down the third period. A lot of position wrestling by these two kids. They have not got out of position at all. Mickle tries to sit out. He's got one knee up. Volker's squad high. He's got, got the two on one right on Abe. He's trying to flatten Mickle out. Volker's got an armbar started on Abe Mickle with the armbar tilt. Ball and chain. Still no scoring position on him. Now Volker's trying for a far kneel tilt. He's close to turning Mickle. He fights that off with a minute and 15 seconds left. He got a two count. I don't know if the official didn't put down his fingers yet. No, a no count on Abe. So score still 1-0 with one minute left in the period. Mickle tries a short sit out. He tries a sit out position. The Volker's got a wrist tied on him. Mickle just did another sit out attempt. They're getting close to being out of bounds and it's out of bounds. We've got 40 seconds in this match. The score is West Delaware one. McCook is Abe Mickle zero with 40 seconds left in the final period of this match. First match of the evening. He gets set in the referee's position. He's got to have a quick score here. He goes to a sit out position. He's hand fighting down there. He's up to his feet now. Volko brings him back down again. We're under 25 seconds now. Volker has control of Abe so far. He's almost got him broken down flat. Ten seconds left. Mickle tries another sit-out attempt. He's trying to get loose. Volker's got his leg position. Abe has to get his hips up and out. He's close. Out of bounds with no time. Mickle loses 1-0. Moving up to 182-pound class, Liam Onam is going for your move with Kokoda. West Delaware is going to face uh, Liam Onam. Here House is a junior from West Delaware. They're in the center of the match again now. We got more position hand fighting going on. West Delaware try to throw by. Takes a takedown for uh, West Delaware. Liam comes up to his base. West Delaware goes into a wrist ride right away. For all you Makokita fans, he's working for the old farmer position that Makokita used to work very well. He's got the head controlled, wrist crossed Liam's back. Working to scoop to the outside to make a tee, and it looks like he's got in a good near fall position right now with Liam on him fighting off his back. West Delaware's got on him flat on his back, but Liam's got his shoulder. He's keeping his shoulder off the mat, so the match continues. We've got 55 seconds left. The referee's holding up three near fall points. Onam gets back to his stomach. West Delaware, you are in the hole. Redback, Dixie Salomon, Cody Wicker. 
Referee awards three points near fall. West Yellow Kids trying to work a half on top and still keeping that near wrist ride. He gives an intentional escape, so Onham scores one for an escape. They're back to the center again. Onham works for a head and collar tie now. He's going to try to get inside control with the young man from West Delaware. They're circling around on the center. Onham continues to fight for inside control. West Delaware takes a shot. Onham fights him off. Now West Delaware's got it. They're breaking free a little bit. West Delaware just tried to duck under a temp. Onham counter that. Onham takes in a single leg shot. No time left. We got a 5-1 score at the end of the first period. West Delaware is ahead. Autumn defers his choice for the start of the second period. West Delaware is going to take the down position, score 5-1 at the 182-pound weight division. West Delaware said, there goes the official. West Delaware tries to stand up a stamp. Autumn goes down to the low single for a counter. He needs to pick that up, which he does quite nicely. Now he has to retake him to the mat. Something that they've worked on during Christmas vacation. West Delaware drops his knee down for one point escape. They're back in the center of the mat, trying to work head and collar tie, getting good position. Wrestlers break free from each other, back into head and collar tie. Both of them are working for inside position. West Delaware both have head and collar tie. There goes a pass by with West Delaware for a two point takedown. Makes that score eight to one in favor of West Delaware. Arnhem gets broken down to his stomach. Here comes the farmer again. Attempt by the West Delaware. He's got the head secured and the wrist secured. Arnhem continues to fight, but he's getting uh, toward his back. The referee's getting us the count right now. It's in the near fall position. Oh. And he gets a fall. Coming up for the Cardinals is at 195 is Lane Stender. Lane's going to face Jordan Brees, the senior from West Delaware. They shake hands, the action started already. Uh, West Delaware gets a, a short foot fake and for tie up. Lane's controlling the wrestler's head. Now the West Delaware goes to a Russian tie, elbow and wrist control, working towards the center. He does a single leg shot, does a double, changes to a double for a takedown for two points. He's got Lane's legs tied up, working for a wrist control. He's got the head down. Looks like he's trying to start a cradle position on Stender, but Stender fights that off. Now he goes to the far elbow. West Delaware's attempting to cradle Lane Stender. Looks like he's got that cradle locked up. Hasn't quite turned him yet. Stender breaks that grip. Goes to the far elbow into the cradle position. He's going to be scoring back points in this position. Really got him tight. And he secures a fall. Up 225 pounds, 220 pounds, excuse me. We've got Johnny Ragsdale coming out for the Cardinals. On deck on the varsity net, 285 pounds, first in the headline, West Delaware, Stephen Rich, Lakota, on deck. West Delaware's tried to throw by to our Johnny Ragsdale. Johnny comes back, he's still in good position. He's getting some good movement. The West Delaware kid tried to shot on him, but Johnny countered with a headlock. 
Back to the center of the mat again. Both wrestlers working for inside tie. They break away. A lot of head tapping, a lot of hand fighting, we're grabbing wrist. Now they both have head and collar tie. Ragsdale looking for inside control. Wrist control by the West Delaware wrestler. Johnny has to free his wrist, which he does. So far, Johnny's been kind of the aggressor, trying to work the kid's head down for a head snap. West Delaware attempted to throw by. Ragsdale countered that quite nicely. There's a shot by the West Delaware guy. Johnny counters him, they go off the mat. We got a minute left in this first period. Neither wrestler has really made a good attempt to score. They're back at the center. John's trying to control the guy's, his opponent's head. Back on the wrist, back on the head. Both wrestlers are trying to get inside tie. They break away. Both are trying head snaps. Johnny tried a headlock. Russ Delaware come behind. Now he's got dropped down to a low single. John's got to get a sprawl going. Ragsdale's working the cross face, but West Delaware comes around for two points for a takedown. Russell's on top for the West Delaware. He's trying to get that near wrist, which he does. Staying behind the guy's hips. John's still on his base, so he's in scoring position. If he can get his hips moving, get his legs underneath him. West Delaware's trying to get a real cheap tee on tilt on him, but he doesn't. They're in a kind of a, West Delaware puts the legs on, and that ends the first period with a takedown by West Delaware, 2-0. I'd like to thank Sheets General Construction, Construction and Hermes Auto and Upholstery for bringing this to us tonight. West Delaware is going to take the down position to start this second period. There's a nice stand up position. He breaks away from John's grip, but he didn't turn on him. Johnny retakes him down to the mat. They're close to being on the edge of the mat and they go out of bounds. No score at the initial movement on this start of the second period. West Delaware's back to the center. Referee's getting him set. Another stand-up attempt by West Delaware. He's on his feet again. Tries a standing roll. Still countered by John. They're on the edge of the mat again. John puts the legs in. West Delaware gets his hips up high and gets a reversal right on the edge of the mat, so now that makes the score 4-0. We got a minute and 30 left in this second period. John's having a little trouble with his red ankle band, but now he's got that set. Equipment's ready, John takes the start position. John didn't have an initial move off that takedown. West Delaware chops the near side elbow, now he goes to the opposite. Elbow breaks it down. John's trying to build a base now, right now. John gives up his near wrist for the West Delaware guy. Looks like they're trying the wrist right. He gets that wrist across the back. They love the farmer at West Delaware now. He's trying to scoop the head of John. Moving his hips to try to drive his shoulders down. West Delaware readjusts. He's got John in a very bad position with the uh, farmer position, but he's got a pretty loose head. And they get the fall as well. Running score right now is 21 West Delaware, Makoka to zero. We're up to our heavyweight position. We're gonna have two ranked wrestlers going out on the mat right now. This Belton from West Delaware is currently ranked fifth, and I believe Taven is ranked seventh in the state, right? According to predicament wrestling. Should be a good action filled heavyweight match. Two pretty big men out there. I would say boys, but they're both pretty good uh, male wrestlers right now. Both are very physical. Again, both are trying to get good head position on each other. There's a throw by by uh, the West Delaware, but Taven Rich counters that nicely. He's into an underhook position. West Delaware breaks out of that. He 
Coach is trying to get their own setup that they want. Uh, had a head movement, foot fake by Taven Rich. West Delaware tries to counter by controlling Taven Rich's fade. And uh, Rich picks up a single leg takedown. Reshot by the West Delaware wrestler. Taven has stretched him out. He's trying to go around behind. He's got his arm trapped in front. Now he gets two for a takedown. Taven Rich with a nice go behind takedown. He's got to get the guy broken down right now. He goes for an ankle ride. Driving the wrestler forward. Breaks him down to his hip. Reaching up for a half Nelson. They're right, right on the edge of the mat and they go off. Rich is ahead 2-0 with the takedown. Forty-four seconds left in this initial first period. Rich scoring the opening takedown. Leads two to nothing. They're set. Taven's working for the initial breakdown. Wrestlers are very stout. West Delaware wrestlers keeping his base, keeping him intact. Taven's got the near wrist rise, right. got the wrestler broken down now. Looks like he's working for an armbar situation on top. There goes a nice cross face. Forcing his head down. Pelton gets up back to his base. 13 seconds left. Stand up position. Taven's in the, he tries a lift. Tries a lift and again, two seconds, one second, time. Hard man to bring down when he's that big. Red choice. Taven's going to go down. It's his choice. Second period starting. He's leaving 2 0 with the takedown, the initial first period. Referee gets Taven Rich set. Russ Delaware takes his position. Taven Rich tries a nice stand up. Still up on his base. Pelton's got an. Uh, Call it the old Beckman right? It's a claw right? Rich does a nice stand-up escape for one point. Scores 3-0. Back to the center of the mat. Taven's got his head control. Goes for a wrist control now. Taven breaks free of that. Both wrestlers are staying in really good position now. So far the action has all been pretty much Taven Rich. Taven's getting his head controlled now, but he breaks him free out of the hat. Rich continues to work back to the inside now. He does a foot fake, a nice shot at single leg attempt. He's got his head controlled. He's got to get his head out of there. No, he goes back to that single leg again. Didn't give it up. West Delaware has got Taven Rich now got his body extended with his hands on the mat. Taven gets up to a tripod position. His legs are in close. He goes to that front headlock position. The same move he scored on the first period and scores again. So we got two takedown. We got 5-0 with the 30 seconds left in this second period. This match is everything it's been built up to be. Two ranked wrestlers. Taven puts the legs in. He's trying to break that West Delaware kid down with 20 seconds. West Delaware does a switch attempt. Taven counters by a good follow behind. He goes back to the ankle ride. Ankle far knee attempt by Taven Rich. No movement by the West Delaware. He breaks him down flat. Taven picks a wrist with uh, one second left, and that ends the period. Rich is ahead 5-0, third period. It's going to be West Delaware's choice to see what he takes. This third period will be brought to you by Make a Splash. West Delaware's got him set by the official. Taven assumes the position. West Delaware tries a stand-up attempt. Taven keeps his knees on the mat with him. Oh, Haven turned over to his side, but he countered West Delaware. Taven Rich got out of position, went to his hip, and the West Delaware kid started to come around, but Haven quickly regained his... Uh, Taven quickly resigned his position. Steph on top now. He's putting a lot of weight. Got a pressure with the wrist controlled. Working wrist really nice. He's staying well behind the guy's hip. He's got him flat. Keeping the pressure 
going forward. He's got the half Nelson started on this ranked wrestler. He's got to get him flat now. West Delaware countered the half. Nelson, he's back up to his base. Taven's behind him, going for the far ankle breakdown. Now wrist. Keeping good pressure on him. He's got to chop that wrist. Get him on his base. Now he's got him broken down to a hip. We have 55 seconds left in this period. Rich is staying heavy on him. He's pushing that elbow forward. He's trying to work that far arm tricep. Working towards the barbed wire position. West Delaware kid breaks that off the ridge, but still in very good position with 30 seconds left. He's got the wrist right started on his near side. He's staying well on his hips. Got him flat. Good hip, good hip position on him. Works for an underhook there into the half, Nelson. He's got the half started. This is great. Uh, Come on, David. David's a little bit out of position. Now he works himself back. He's got an excellent position for him. And he gets a fall. Great match by Makokotis Taven Rich. Pins the fifth ranked wrestler in the state with a fall in the third period. Nice job, Taven Rich. That brings the score 21 to 6. West Delaware ahead. Cookett has to forfeit at 106. Gives them a six for that. Makes it 27 to six. We're open at 113, I believe, as well, which gives them six more points. We're up to 120 pounds now with Hunter Kindly, the McCookett wrestler. Excellent match at every way. Now this is next Makoka to wrestler wrestling. It's uh, Hunter Conley at 120 pounds. Hunter's a sophomore taking on a junior, Evan Woods of West Delaware. They're inside with the wrist control. Uh, Hunter's got an underhook position, working well on that. He's circling his opponent. Both wrestlers break away. Both wrestlers have similar body shapes. Hunter gets in the front handlock position. He's got Woods on the mat. Ankle tap to attempt. Come around, go behind. He does not block his elbow, so Woods counters Hunter Conley's go behind, and they're off the edge of the mat. Wrestler starts again. Oh, got a low single attempt by the West Delaware wrestler Woods. A shot by Hunter Conley. Well, Hunter missed a good opportunity of that counter, but he didn't get the, the move. Now he's in the Russian tie against Wood. Still got the wrist controlled. Now Woods breaks out of that. Both wrestlers have head and counter tie. They break away. Front headlock position again by Hunter Conley, but he can't keep the kid on the mat. West Delaware pops himself back up. Works for inside control. Working back to the center of the mat. Conley's got good head position on him. Inside wrist control. We just did a boot scoot on Hunter Conley for two points takedown. Conley's up to his base. Tries a sit out attempt, but he's on his hip. Woods counters by getting across on his both legs. Tied his wrist up. Wood goes into a near side tilt. He hasn't got the position yet. They're very, on, very close to the edge of the mat. Hunter tries a stand up position. Got to get his hips up. Still a nice scoring position. They're out of bounds. End of the first period. West Delaware gets that initial takedown, so he's got a two point lead by West Delaware Woods. Conley's choice, he's going to defer. Woods is going to take the down position in the second period, leading 2 0. 
Referee's got him set. Conley's on a position for the start. A switch attempt by the Woods of West Delaware. Countered quite nicely by Hunter Conley of McCocada, working for the wrist stride. West Delaware's back up to their base. Now uh, Hunter's got, got a wrist stride attempt. He's got a two on one. Conley's got a pretty tough ride on this kid. He's got him flat on the mat exactly where he wants him. He's working for a wrist control. Trying to bring that wrist up, goes up to a power half. Conley slips in the legs when the kid tried to stand up position. And Connor's gonna, yep, Hunter has to let him go. He got put the legs in and got out of bad position, so an intentional release by Conley. Score being three and one for an escape. Conley hit a single attempt. Ooh. He just powered him over for a two point take down to his back. He's in really good position. Connor's trying to fight his way off the back. And he's gonna lose by a fall. Well, they're going to put two wrestlers on varsity mats now, Dale, so uh, we're going to have a heck of a time keeping up there. We've got <laughs> Ivan Martin wrestling on the red mat on the far side, the east side of the gym, and we've got Dane Dirk up on our mat, so Dane just got taken down by real, real quickly by a Phillips, who is ranked currently ranked fifth in the state. He goes into an armbar situation right away. For Dirk up's in... Uh, Terrible position out there. Baines keep all he can do to keep that one shoulder off the mat. Um, on our farm mat, looks like they've scored the first two points. No, I'm sorry. Ivan Martin's behind uh, eight to nothing, and we had a fall by Russell here at West Delaware. We're getting in the heart of West Delaware's lineup. Uh, the 132-pounder was ranked fifth in the state. Now we're at 138. Well, I don't know what went on here. It looks like we got a forfeit here. Uh, we're, now we're back to uh, Ivan Martin's match. Uh, we have a... Uh, it's 11 nothing over there. 11 nothing. We're in the second period with 44 seconds left. Uh, it looks like he's got a tilt going on Ivan Martin down there. He works up to a half Nelson. We're jumping up back on our mat. Mason Springer's at 145, it looks like. That means on deck, we'll get 152 pounds. Uh, Martin's... Uh, got himself in a pretty precarious situation. West Delaware's in a good pinning combination. Looks like he's got him pretty well flat down there. He's got the legs in and an arm controlled. And he gets a fall as well. We have Mason Springer out here. Again, we're facing a, a ranked wrestler here. Takedown attempt. And he gets his takedown on Mason. He goes right into that far arm ride. He's got a Turk ride on him. Looks like we're gonna split mats again. Yep. 152 is gonna go on the red mat. 152, we got Caden Oster down there wrestling Peyton. Mangold, I'm sorry, a wrestler. And uh, Mangold is one of their Makoka's better wrestler. He's ranked fourth in the state. Mason Springer gets a... Uh, Mason Springer loses by a fall. And we have a bloody nose right away, so that's going to stop the action on this mat before they're 160. Back down on a 152-pound match. Both wrestlers have been in a tie situation. Mango is trying to snap down on Caden Oster. They're back in the center of the match again. Both have inside tie. Both wrestlers are working, and they're out of bounds. It's a minute 27 seconds left at 152 pound at 0-0 score. 
Up on our mat, 160, we got Jared Voss of West Delaware against Steve Kwan. Uh, both wrestlers are on their feet, working for an inside tie with, on the other match. Uh, Caden was just taken down. Wrestlers got him in a cradle position. Got him on a cradle position down there. Caden Oster's in terrible position there. So far, he stayed off his bat. Referee's got a three count started on him, though. Quan has been taken down, and he's in. Yep. yep. We got a fall at 52 by West Delaware. Mangold, their fourth ranked wrestler, comes through with a quick first period fall. And on our mat, back here with the Peyton. Um, Voss is ahead 5-0 with 50 seconds left. He's got the match fairly well controlled. He's got Steve Matt on his stomach. Pretty well flattened out, working on the near side wrist. He good left and he's got a ball and chain on him. Referee's got the three count on the near fall and he gets a fall as well. Well, that'll do it for the first duel between West Delaware and Makoka. We'll send it back to the studio for these messages from our sponsors. You listen to Makoka Cardinals Wrestling on KMAQ. How many? Let's we let's see. We got what five minutes before the next one. Let's yeah, run. Let's go. Mary and Mary will have their warm up, and then we'll go. Let's run uh, four minutes here. Four minutes. All right. Four of them anyway. Yeah. Well, that got a little interesting. I didn't know they do. They would split them up and do two varsity matches on two mats like that. Yeah, that's the situa situation with double duels anymore. That I've never cared for them. You can't keep the fans interested. I did. I lost track of the score when all that was going. Well, I, I was at fifty-one to six at one point. Yeah, I think. They got 18 at the end, so that's, I think it's 69 to 6 is what my scout was, but I may have missed one. Well, we'll go with 69. That's good. I couldn't tell you what our JV did down there. Well, they were getting... will be a little different story. Yeah, I, I think this one's going to be a little better. <laughs> 